this video is just going to be a quick introduction to Git slash GitHub and how they work. When working on code projects, you typically work in a team and GitHub is just used as a platform for an easy way to share and edit code among multiple developers without getting everything mixed up. You could just email or text the code or heck, you can even just write it down on a letter and snail mail it to one of your developers, but that's not gonna be very efficient. And it's definitely prone to a lot of errors because by the time it gets to the other person, the whole code base might've just been changed already. So what exactly is Git? You know, I'm glad I asked. It's a version control system, also known as a system for managing your files. For instance, let's say you're working on a project with a lot of different files and you can't keep track of all the changes on your own. This is where Git comes in and Git efficiently keeps track of all of these changes. Git repo, aka Git repository, keeps track of all the changes to your code base. Use Git pulls to grab the code from the GitHub project into your code editor. As you work on your project, you frequently take instances slash snapshots, aka commits of your current state of these files. We can go back and forth through these commits. This way we can see past changes or just go back to the most recent commit. These are all stored on your local machine and they don't affect the original project on GitHub at all. However, when you're ready, you could just push the code to GitHub and then you'll be ready to see your changes on the original project in GitHub. All right, so step one, log into your GitHub. Make sure you have a GitHub account before you do all this. And once you're logged in, go to the project you want to edit. In this case, it will be Checkerbot. Now, what you're gonna do is click clone or download. Make sure you copy this URL. And we're gonna use that in the future. What we're gonna do is create a new project in PyCharm. All right, let's close that. Let's make a brand new one. And it doesn't really matter what you name it. I'm just gonna call mine Untitled 2, just because I'm too lazy to make a new name. Okay, here we go. Brand new project, new beginnings, new everything. So without further ado, what we're gonna have to do is go into VCS and import into version control. And before we do everything, we need to create a Git repository. We're going to select the directory. In this case, we could just do it this folder. It's all good. Just do default unless you really know what you're doing. Okay, we're going to go to VCS. Go to Git. And we're going to go down to remotes. Now this is where we add that link. Control V, here it is. If your link doesn't look like this, then you're in the wrong place. So we're going to click OK. Click OK again. All right, go back to VCS, I'll click Git, and then click Pull. Make sure that this link is within remote. It's the same one that we copy and pasted, looking good so far. Click the Refresh button, click this little tick, origin slash master, and then click Pull. After that pull, we should just be able to direct into the folder. And here we see the checkers folder. That means this came straight from GitHub. That's the project. Very good. Now we can just go straight into one of these files. I'm just going to pick, hmm, let's do checkers. Why not? And normally we're going to be doing more meaningful changes. But in this case, we're just going to make a comment. I change this comment. You know what, I don't really care. Save that, let's go to VCS. And I commit that file. So what this pop-up window is gonna ask us to do is to make a commit message. And typically when you make a commit message, what you wanna do is to make sure that it accurately describes the changes you made. So in this case, I made a new comment. And the reason you wanna make it clear and understandable is because other developers in your team are gonna be reading this and it's very important that they can just understand it quickly. Down here is a pretty cool feature. You can see the old commit version versus the newer version. There's nothing here, but in this newer version, our new version that is, we can see the new comment we made. So that's pretty cool. 
Now, if you just want to make a commit for your local machine, meaning you just want to make a change, but just put it onto your local machine without putting it on GitHub specifically, you can just click commit. However, in this case, we made all the changes we want, so we're ready to commit and push. Now, what push does is it quote unquote pushes all of the commits we made. So it pushes all the changes we made on this local machine straight into the original project on GitHub. You can see down here, this means that it successfully pushed 13 minutes ago, which is when I was recording this video. All right, here's the fun part. Now let's just go straight into GitHub, back to the original project, click on checkers, wherever you made your change, and you can see exactly when these changes were made. In this case, it was in checkers.py. And when I recorded this video earlier, it was 18 minutes ago. So we can just click here. And here we can see the comment we made. Very cool. Okay, let's say you made a bunch of changes or another developer friend of yours slash coworker made some changes and you're not entirely sure what he changed. A quick, easy way to see the changes is just to click this commit message. And here you can see before and after what happened with the code. Here's the old version where there is no comment. And here in the newer version, we can see the new comment that we made. Now it's highlighted green because we added it. Now if it was highlighted as red, that means we just removed it. Now that's a pretty quick overview of how GitHub works. I hope this is helpful and thanks for watching.